and we're live <laughs> welcome to another simply diagnostics video <laughs> from a warm bright and sunny cheshire oh it's not it's absolutely baltic <laughs> it really is i've got body warmer my diagnostic connections hoodie on and i'm still absolutely baltic <laughs> right so we're back on this ds4 um we've not found any any short to ground whatsoever so i can only assume it's an internal module fault um we've not been able to prove that yet so we're just going to take it one step further and do a little bit of current draw testing so i'll show you how we set up hey up michael hey up jim james yeah uh, so we've had a bit of a disaster as well so getting set up for the video i've got me brew there me new, me new centenary snap on mug from my mate Richie, best snap on dealer in England. Give him a call if you want anything. Brought me a lovely little mug and kept me bloody brew over. Look at that. Hey, up, Chris, how are you, mate? A little Zaki. So, what we've got set up here, we're using um, the Farsight tablet from Opus, we've got the Arty Mini from Diagnostic Connections. That's it, thumbs up. We've got the Pico 4425A from Pico Technologies. And we've got a beautiful little hot hatch, the little Citroen DS4. Connected to this, you can see I've got three channels wired up, A, B and C. On channel A, I've got the big current clamp. On channel B, I've got the smaller current clamp. And on channel C, I've got a voltage probe. And those are going, let me show you, let me get down and show you, oh my old knees. Right, so the big current clamp is on the yellow wire that feeds the fan control module and the fan. The smaller current clamp is on the white wire that's fed by fuse 2. And that actually provides the, the voltage for the cooling fan module. That white wire there that you can see. And then channel C, the green channel, I've got that on the red control wire. Now, the way this sets up, it's a little bit funny. So the red actually gives you, um, is the control. That, that tells the fan control module how fast to turn the fan. The white provides the power. And the purple and the yellow wires, depending on what state, what speed the fan wants to go, are either pulled to ground or, or the ground is removed on them. So uh, it's a little bit of a funny setup. Quite why they've done it that way, I don't know. They could just put a PWM controller in, I would imagine, on one wire. But they seem to have done it that way, and we've, we're, you know, we're not going to condemn them for it. So going back to this, the yellow wire feeds in into the module. Then that power comes out of the module on the white wire. You can see there it loops round and it goes into. That connector there which then turns into a red wire and feeds the fan and then the ground is a permanent ground supplied on the green and yellow wire okay you can see somebody's had a little bit of pokey pokey in that wire so we're gonna we're gonna fix that before we build it back up over to scope setup I've done it very 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 simply um, so channel one I've got it on a hundred a hundred amps on the big clamp channel two i've got it on five amps so i've got it on the fuse rating of the of the um of the fuse that blew and channel c i've just got it on a voltage connection and then what i've also done i've put a single trigger on channel a so that it won't start capturing it won't start drawing until the fan works okay urban you've not missed a lot mate we've just been going through setup all i'm going to do I've got my little arty mini set up here and if I go go back you can see I've got um, so literally I'm going into into actuation test test with the engine stopped fan unit test <laughs> no JT it's not mate you'll see in a minute and then we've got a fan unit high speed or fan unit with variable speed that's the one we want okay 
and then I'll literally all I'm going to do is hit start so I'll hit start and keep you fixed on the screen oh that's because I cycled the key hang on it fell down on me I've got to re-establish comms with the engine ECU engine that's because I cycled the key and this is where I find out I haven't even put the key on properly and it's only an accessory Come on, there we go, actuation test, test with the engine stopped, fan unit test, variable speed, hit start. Okay, there's the complete cycle. So what we can see from this, let me get my kneeling pad because my old knees are suffering a bit in this cold. Right, so what we can see, channel A, the blue channel, on medium speed, we got up to about 20 amps. Then when it went to high speed, the inrush current there is just over 60 amps but then it settles down at about 25 amps and then drops down. The red trace is the power feed from that fuse too. And what we can see there, it stepped up to, let's drop that ruler down. On the, on the low speed, it, it jumped up to 130 milliamps and on the high speed let's just get it out there so it's a bit clearer it my, my hands are absolutely freezing now and on the high speed 265 milliamps so we can only assume that there's actually that there's been water in there and that's what and it's caused a short internally Looking at the control voltage, which is the green trace, you can see it's seen, sitting just above ground. Then when the when it's commanded on, when the fan's commanded on, you can see the voltage rising gradually here. Then when it goes up onto high speed, it's taken up to um, just under battery voltage. And then when it's turned down, it drops down then in two steps. So from that, from that conclusion, from, from from that test we can only conclude that either there is still a short to ground that I've missed and that's highly unlikely because I've been very very thorough or that there's been water in that module and looking at the state of the module you can see it on the previous video um, let's just show you again you can see the rust on those bolts and that on yeah I would imagine that that's had water in it at some point even though the connection itself is perfectly okay I think we're going to find some internal damage on that. The resistor side of it is okay, that's fine, it's, it's no different than any other one. I think we're going to find water ingress on the actual electronic side of it. So that needs a new fan control module. Whether it's available separate from the, from the whole fan unit or not is a different matter altogether. And then the other thing that I can say is that the the lid for the the fuse box wasn't fitted quite correctly it was actually sat cocked over and they, they normally got dielectric grease on those fuses and the dielectric grease had all dried out so i'm wondering it doesn't look too bad but i'm wondering whether we've had a bit of moisture in there but my money is on the fan controller <clears throat> and then the other thing that i've spotted i don't know whether you can see it here well you can see it 
we've got a couple of good scuff marks on the bottom of the bumper yeah and another little telltale that I found while I was mooching about was this just lying in the bottom somebody's had a grinder on that captive nut missing from somewhere yeah so what was that I missed that then water ingress didn't you see the brewery exposed on the chassis rail earlier yeah don't you worry I only kick me uh, kick me brew over um, why am you what was that there then somebody said Conqueror said why are you using the Pico not the GMTO type pie system I keep I keep me type pie for special occasions and truth be known I'm not quite skilled enough to, to be able to set it up to quickly set it up and uh, get the captures that I want reliably because I'm, I'm that used to I've been, I'm a long time Pico user so uh, it's old habits I'm afraid um, I just find the Pico really really intuitive and this new 4425 takes all the setup headaches away because it automatically sets the clamps up it automatically sets the probes up for you sets the scope up and everything you're right there Cal hashtag Pico flu mate hashtag Pico flu we coined, the, we coined that phrase 2009 something like that yeah but the Pico 7 software works really really well it takes out all the the, the two four four two five a takes all the setup I literally I set my scope up in two minutes so yeah so I hope you enjoyed that that's a cracky little tool that little arty mini I know for a fact um, Diagnostic Connections have got an offer on that um, for SDN members I did mate yeah you're right I did I used to have it hashtag Peacockflu I used to have it on my shirt as well maybe I should revive that my Twitter handle is the same so if you want to follow me on Twitter at Pico Flu, that's me, that's me Twitter handle. Get, get yourself over there. Instagram uh, at Simply Diag, Simply Diagnostics on Facebook, and Steve S underscore SDN at www.simplydiagnet. So yeah, if you're not a member, we'd love to see you over there. And uh, just like to say, thank you very much for tuning into this video. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up and a comment. If you didn't like it, leave us a thumbs down and a comment, please. Yeah, um, don't just shove us a thumbs down. Actually, give us give us a reason why you didn't like the video, and maybe I can do something about that then and and change your mind. But whatever it is, we'd love to see you in the community. Any interaction at all with the channel, on YouTube, on Facebook, on the on the community portal, Instagram, Twitter. It's really really appreciated. So now I've got to build all this back up and then I'm on to a Renault Megane with an intake air temp fault. So thanks for watching. You're awesome. Stay safe folks.